Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi and today we will see what is the performance tuning, what is the bottleneck and how to overcome from the bottleneck and how to improve our you know performance to load the data between source to target. So let's understand performance tuning is to optimize the session performance by eliminating the performance bottleneck which you can find out the uh, performance tuning in target, source, mapping, session and system. So there are five way of the uh, bottlenecks which you can find. By using the thread statistics also you can find there is the bottleneck in the source, target or the transformation. So by default in the Informatica cloud in performance tuning, so there are the transformation thread, one reader thread and one writer thread. The session log provide the following thread statistics. So by using the statistics also you can check there is the formula like runtime minus idle time divided by runtime into 100. So runtime is nothing but it is the amount of time the thread runs. And the idle time include the time thread wait for other thread processing within the application. So we can see, uh, we can check in the target level. So when you have to check the bottleneck in the target level, you can check there is the any key is defined, any constraint is there. For example, index and if any primary or foreign key is there, then definitely it will uh, performance will become slow. So to improve the performance, you can drop the indexes and key constraint. You can also check the uh, checkpoints intervals. You can use the bulk loads. So you, there are the bulk load and the normal load. So in the bulk load, you can load your data at one time. And in normal load, it will run the data or it load the data one by one. So by using bulk load also, you can improve the performance. This is the target level and in the source level you can optimize the query if session join multiple source table in one source qualifier and you might be able to improve the performance by optimizing the query with optimizing hints and also you can use the conditional filters. So in the mapping level you can reduce the number of transformation in the mapping and delete the unnecessary links between the transformation to optimize the mapping performance. You can see in the partitioning there are four types so by using the partitioning we can improve the performance so you can use the partitioning to optimize performance for mapping tasks there are four types none fixed key partitioning and dynamic so none is nothing but it is the by default options we will get in fixed the row of the data based on the number of partitioning that you specify so you can specify up to 64 partitions if the mapping include multiple sources then specify the same number of partitions for each source in key range the mapping tasks distribute row of data based on field that you define as a partition key and in dynamic mapping tasks it determine the optimal number of partitions to create at runtime based on the source size. So here are some limitations in the partitioning. You cannot do the partitioning if it is the parameterized source or the source query. If we are using the web services or the hierarchy parser transformation, then also you cannot use the partition into the mapping. It also includes the sources that use the custom relationship or advanced relationships. So in the partitioning, there are rules and regulations like you cannot use the in-out parameter for key range values and for flat file partitioning, the session performance is optimal with large source file and the sequence number generated by normalizer and the sequence generator transformation might not be sequential for the partition source but the key are unique. Okay, and if you are using the sorter transformation into the mapping and if you enable the partitioning, then the task sorts the data in each partition separately. So there are the difference between the Informatica Power Center and Informatica Cloud partitioning. So in Informatica Power Center, it provides the lots of or many partitioning we can say like database partitioning, 
राउंड रोबिन पार्टिशनिंग पास थ्रू हैश की एंड इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका क्लाउड देर आर ओनली टू फिक्स पार्टीशन और टू पार्टिशनिंग लाइक फिक्स एंड की पार्टिशनिंग सो इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका पावर सेंटर यू कैन इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बट इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका क्लाउड बाय डिफॉल्ट यू शुड हैव टू ओनली बाय डिफॉल्ट पार्टीशन पॉइंट्स क्रिएट बाय डेटा इंटीग्रेशन सर्विस इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका पावर सेंटर यू कैन चेंज द पार्टीशन टाइप डिपेंडिंग ऑन द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टाइप बट इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका क्लाउड पार्टीशनिंग इज अलाउड ओनली एट द सोर्स लेवल सो लेट्स टेक वन एग्जाम्पल विल डू पार्टीशनिंग हियर ऑन द सोर्स लेवल you can see the option available here in partitions so i took this source as a retailer you can see there are fields and primary key on retailer id here you can see there are three types when you select the database source none key range and pass through partitioning so pass through is nothing but if you want to create same data and load it multiple times that it, then you can use the pass through transformation uh, sorry pass through partitioning in key range partitioning you can divide your data parallelly and you can execute and in none it is the default option okay so by default there is one reader thread one writer thread and one transformation thread so we'll select key range here on retailer id so i will give range here you have to define start range and end range so whatever your end range it should be your start range so total 823 records are there in my table so i do i do i will do the two partition here for 400 means 399 it will take and for uh, 823 that means 423 in my second partition so let's save we'll create here runtime environment sorry runtime target we'll create here let's run this mapping you can see data is loaded with the 822 so one reader thread one writer thread is created here so you can say as i told you it's 399 423 so in this way you can do the partition let me check in my target file is created see it exclude the uh, header so that's why it is showing 822 in our um, target now we'll take the flat file so in partition you can check here in partition types it is showing only none and fixed so when you select database it is showing you three options none key range and pass through and in flat file it is showing only two options none and fixed so we'll select here fixed and number of partition will be one so you can enter here the number of partitions to process data in parallel and select two now we'll run this mapping so 
so you can see here the data is loaded so in this way you can use the partitioning let me check in my target So if you feel this uh, information or video is informative, please like, share and comment on my video. Thank you.